So going back to the 60s and the movement, um, you were often the only woman in the room, and you have continued, you, you've been very involved in feminism as well. Do you think things are better for women at this point now, or how do you look at the sort of where we've gone? Oh, I think they're definitely better than when I, I mean, uh, us older women in the room here, we know that when we were growing up, you could expect to be hit on by almost every man that you met. Not not 100%, but you know, a good 70%, right, of the men. And then we didn't have those laws that protected women from sexual harassment. But we know, again, uh, women still have to overcome those fears, as we've seen in, in the headlines recently. And it's uh, such a humi humiliating experience for women. Uh, but, uh, but I think that uh, the tide is turning. But again, women have to overcome those fears uh, so that they, we could really get uh, step into civic life. And the other thing I thought about when I saw this movie, I had so many reflections on my own life, is that I think when you get involved in, in, in the civic world and civic life, then your own personal problems also get diminished. You know, because we all have issues and problems at home, and uh, they can overwhelm you. But when you're out there trying to help other people, you get into another space, and then your own problems get diminished. And again, when you do get involved, then that builds up what I call your emotional fortitude. And that's what I think we as women need. And I love to quote Coretta Scott King, who said, we will never have peace in the world until women take power. Yeah. And, and I want to just amend that by, to use the word feminist, OK? And the reason I say that, because when you say, what is a feminist? A feminist is somebody who cares, of course, about women's uh, right to abortion, women's reproductive rights, uh, gay rights, uh, cares about climate change. Uh, cares about workers' rights, immigrants' rights, you know? Who cares about civil rights? That's what a feminist is. So I think when we say, we can say when feminists take power, okay? Which would include the men in the room also, not just the women.